live from Soho, New York City. It's Warble Electronics with Becky Stern. Hey everybody, it's December 3rd. Happy December, almost winter. Uh, today we're going to talk about some, you guessed it, wearable electronics. With me is Phil Mr. Lady Ada himself. What's on today's show, Phil? On today's show we got a lot of things. First up, Wearable Wednesday. Getting into the holiday spirit with a new tutorial. Component of the week. Getting into the holiday spirit with a component. Material spotlight. And all of your cosplay dreams can come, th come <laughs> true with, guess this, cable organization tool. I actually have cosplay dreams, so. And they do come true. <laughs> Uh, this isn't Quit. show lies with Becky. Yeah, yeah, no, that's after. That's the, the 4 p.m. one. Um, <laughs> question and answer. You have questions. Becky has answers. Why don't we even have that other show? <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. It's fun to okay. um, play around with our imagination. All right. This is question, and then we have questions. And oh, right. Okay. So if you have questions about wearable electronics, you can ask them now, or at any time during the show, or at any time during the week here on YouTube, on Google Plus, Twitter, Insta, Face, to Gram, to Chat. And I will load them up for next week's show, making yeah. you eligible to win the show's giveaway. So if you've asked questions before, I might answer them later on today's show, and then I'll pick one of your names out of the yeah. hat, and you'll win a flora. I think we're kind of running out of new social networks. There was a lot for a while, and then now it's been the same. So but maybe next year we'll have another place where people can There's post There's always like a, a blossoming and a, and a, and a um, yeah. like pairing down, right? Because yeah. like Vine... Well, uh, then it was then part of, but it's part of Twitter now. But then Instagram got video, and so and then like Instagram's mm, part of Facebook. Snapchat is huge. Yeah, but that's, you can't really, you can't really ask questions. You can't really ask questions yeah. on Snapchat. I mean, you yeah. can, but it's difficult. Very difficult. Yeah. Okay. All that and more on. Wearable electronics with Becky Stern. That's what we do here. Every yeah. Week. Okay. Let's um, let's first pay some bills. The code is glow. The code could be glow any at any time. Rather uninspired yeah. for this week's code. It's close. You can get 10% off your order. So if you missed our Black Friday or Cyber Monday sales, never fear. 10% off flora and wearables category all day. Yeah, show. those sales were intense. Yeah, we had the biggest sales days ever. Yeah, Black Friday was huge. We were like, oh my god, biggest sales day ever, afraid for yay. And then um, we had Cyber Monday, and it was like, okay, biggest sale day ever, yay. So On Monday, when all of those UPS packages were going out, and yeah, like I took they a video. were like left over from Saturday and Sunday and, and the later half yeah. of Friday. Um, I saw like somebody with like headphones kind of like, I was like, oh, is someone lost in there? Do we need yeah. to send the St. Bernard yeah, into we, the pile um, of packages? Yeah, we had to, UPS had to get multiple trucks. Is we that had, the first time we've ever had to have a multiple truck pickup? Yeah, so there, there's package vans and then there's, um, which actually look like trucks, and then there's trucks that look like vans. They have different terminology mm -hmm. for UPS. I could, I could speak all day <laughs> Please, about it. Please, would yeah. you elaborate? No. But um, no, anyways. And so instead, they just they got two of the big trucks and yeah. they did two trips. So yeah, like twelve well, pallets of packages. Well over five thousand orders. It was just crazy. So um, let's. So thank you, but you can continue to get ten percent off yeah. today. And there's also the free items. Yeah, those are still going on. Automatic. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, so at every like price break, you get a cool free thing. Yeah. Perma Proto trinket, Pro trinket. Yeah. Free and shipping. Then, yeah. So we got that going on. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, let's um. Tis the freaking season, everybody. Tis the freaking season. <laughs> so every week on the blog, we're going to go yeah. to our first... Yeah, okay. So every week yeah, on we the blog that. is Wearable Wednesday, and we post up all the coolest stuff. So uh, we don't talk about it all on the show, just just like the, the customer write-in project sort yeah. of. So if you want to cool. see all of the stuff that's going on in the um, wearable world, you can check out the blog every Wednesday. And um, this guy made... He goes to music festivals, and he made this like accelerometer-controlled hoodie with, with a bunch of LEDs in it so that... Um, as you can see, when he moves his arm and uh, wrist in certain ways, it controls the animation of the pixel. So it's like it's very um, telling. You can like see the different animations yeah. happening based on the movement of his arm. So that's cool. Um, it's either a forum project or yeah. anyway, a customer project. That's really great. Cool. Okay, next up. This is my favorite. Okay, we have a new tutorial in the Adafruit Learning System. Um, it is how to make a Borg cosplay. Yeah. And so Jason made this costume for his daughter for Halloween. We spotted it. It's got some cool Adafruit hardware in it. We asked him to write a tutorial for the learning guide, learning system, and now it is up. So if you would like to learn how to make your own yeah. Borg costume. I'm going to so steal far. a joke from another thing that we did with, like, MOSFET that was cybery. Uh -huh. So, um, the cutest of Borg. Because you remember <laughs> the one where it was Picard got turned yes. into... <laughs> yeah. He was low-cutest. Yeah, so this is yes. the cutest it's really of good. Borg. It's really good. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't really have anything to add to that. Yeah. A lot of people don't know this show is entirely scripted. We have we rehearse for hours at a time and and we have to work on these jokes. <clears throat> yep. That one almost got cut, believe it yeah. or not. Yeah. All right. <laughs> no. read, read what's on the teleprompter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, speaking of 
<laughs> holiday spirit. Um, we continue to put up a new uh, holiday gift guide yeah. once every weekday for basically the whole end of November and beginning of December yeah. so that you can, to help you navigate our gigantic product catalog and also get some cool gift ideas, gifts you can make. Yeah. Um, we also try to keep it weird. Yeah, that's, that's our style, to keep it weird. So yeah. um, the gift guide that went up today, one of them, is Leslie's Hackerspace Guide. So she looked, at, and it's really cute, and it's it's um, a good job. it's based on the poem, the, um, the Night Before Christmas. Yeah. And she looked at all of these different needs that people in her hackerspace had, like a broken soldering iron or yeah. like an insufficient tool, and, and she sort of um, picked out a problem and then a gift that would solve the problem. Yeah. For a bunch of different spots around her hackerspace. It's very cute. Yeah, there's some people that everything they do is delightful. Leslie's one of them. Yeah. So she has this, it's a delightful gift guide, delightful words, and you read it and you're like, well, that was fun. And it's very useful. You can send it to all your ha hackerspace, makerspace uh, friends, and you can say, hey, like, this is kind of a, you know, yeah. I, I, our thing is broken too. You know, we it's should probably get one upgrade. of these. Yeah. Okay. Next so up. continue to check out our holiday guides. The link is in the description. You found this article on Electronic Design News. Yes, I see about <laughs> I see all. I see all, aka I have a Google alert for yeah. Adafruit. And um, you spotted this article about wearables on Electronic Design News. Yeah. That talks about the blossoming of this, the blossoming of this industry. Yeah, I like I like what this person noticed. They said up until recently, there wasn't really a lot going on with wearables, but now, with basically companies like Adafruit, someone like a Becky Stern. Um, people are able to play more, do more, and uh, get prototypes going. And so they're saying wearables is the new software. Like this is kind of a phrase like, you know, hardware is the new software. It's like basically once hardware gets to the point where you can mix and match and get the thing done instead of right. spending all the time trying to figure out how to get the, the thing tools, done. Right. Yeah. yeah, so it's neat that, that other people are starting to notice this. Um, wearables is the new black. LEDs are the new black. Yeah, well there was, there was a lull for a while. It was like this, war this wearable potential. And then you know, we spent a lot of time and effort over the last you know, three years-ish mm -hmm. to really get everything ready for everybody. So it's yeah. cool. Like EDN is like kind of a, I'd say, a mainstream electronics site. Sure. Yeah. I mean, okay. it's also the biggest industry journal for electrical engineers. Yeah. So that was cool. Next up. Thanks, guys. OK, this week's project is all about getting you into the holiday spirit. If you watched our wearables holiday gift guide last year, you might recognize this project that we made as a prop for yeah. the holiday gift guide last year. That's right. But it's so easy and simple. and. Um, fun that we thought we might teach you how to build it in its own project. It is how to make your name on stocking in EL wire. Okay. I believe we have a video. I'm gonna roll it. Yay! All right, that was your great. Dog, I heard you liked ELR, so I put some yeah. this festivity is, in your stocking. This is great. And you know, one thing um, that we should remind everyone, and then we can link to this part in the video. Uh -huh. So EL inverters, they go ee. Yes, they do. They do. They do. There's nothing you can do about it. You can you can try to reduce it, but it, we get an email like at least once a week, and someone's like, "Oh my gosh, I hear. I I think I have like special hearing or something, or tinnitus. The, or yeah, or you know." See, I, I have tinnitus. Like I go to my parents' house in Connecticut where it's very quiet, and mm -hmm. I hear this. I hear an EL inverter, but it's just inside my skull. So if y'all want to experience that. Please put an EL inverter next to your head, preferably on top of a bike helmet or something. You know those sound rooms that you can't hear anything yeah. and people go crazy in? Yeah. Do you want to try one of those? Uh, no, because okay. I'll, I'll break down crying from my own tinnitus probably in like 45 minutes. It'll be so loud because it's so quiet. Yeah, this yeah. is the place for me because it's loud here all the time even when it's quiet. <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's an easy project, and on your mantle you won't be able to hear the EL inverters from inside the stocking, really. It's yeah. only when it's like close to your head, but they yeah. do sing. It's a reminder, sure. yeah. Good. So think of it as a, a long song, perhaps, with no chorus or lyrics or tones besides <laughs> one. The flowing effect EL wire kind of, it, it makes like a little bit of a different <laughs> noise. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Yeah. So, okay. I mean, you know, you could have a All chorus. Right. Well, if you're going to make one of these stockings, don't pay full price. No, get 10% off with code GLOW. Yeah. Now it all makes sense. The right, because glow. not like not glow. everything we show on this show glows. That's right. Next okay, up. Okay, component of the week this week is another thing to get you into the holiday spirit. This would be the Chibitronics Holiday Cards Pack. So you can, um, if you send holiday greeting cards, and I know you do, um, you can make them light up with LEDs inside and still be flat and, and um, compact and fit in a mailing envelope. So, that, you know, you, like yeah. I know it's a contest, right? People hang them up around their like door frames and stuff. And, um, and yeah. so if you have the glowing card, like you basically you win, win. You win. You win the card contest. Yeah, and they're easy to make. If, like, you, uh, if you have Christmas cards, it's like an activity that you do as a family or on the holidays. You can pull these out of your bag of tricks and um, learn some electronics while you're, while you're wishing all of your friends and family far away. Uh, okay, holiday. that's fairly new. Yeah. That's a fairly new product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's, that's very new, yeah. like this week. Yeah. But there's also the the Bear Conductive um, holiday cards pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not as new. Not and that's new. why it's not the component yeah, yeah, yeah. of the week okay. this week. Well, if you want to get that, that's also on sale, too. Glow. Yes. All right. Next up. Material Spotlight. Material it's where spotlight. we share a cool material. And sometimes it's conductive, and sometimes it's just wire hose, because, you know, you guys yeah. don't know what that stuff's called. Um, and um, it's inside Jason's tutorial for the Bork costume, um, and it, it it is what they used in the TV show, the Star Trek TV show. It's so, so. cool that the that regular folks can make props that rival um, the actual the things actual that they thing, yeah. used in the TV show. Indistinguishable. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. So um, you can use this corrugated wire harness stuff. Um, I put a link in the description just to like a search for it on Amazon just so that you can have some some uh, Google terminology to get you started. And then when you're done, you yeah. can take it off of your costume and use it to organize your cables yeah. behind your computer. Yeah, we don't we don't sell this, but that's okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Care. It's yeah. just a cool material that you guys might not know that you can use in your cosplay and wearables projects um, to great to great Borgy yeah. effect. What, what was the stuff that you used for the wig or Phil be used for the wig? That's like these are like um, raver dread, raver girl dreads. Did, did they have a purpose besides that? Are they cable wraps? Or? Um, you can use them as cable wraps, but they don't have a split, so like you have to run the cables uh, okay. all the way through it. So yeah, yeah you yeah. can use them as cable organizers, and I think there is a kind that's sold that has a split in it. Okay. But these are designed for to put in your hair. Yeah. Did you ever see those things where you put your fingers in and you can't pull them apart? They cut, yeah, they kind of re remind me of that. Yeah, too. yeah, they're they're a lot like that. Yeah. It's the same. They're woven like that. Okay. Bias too. All right. Well. Anyway, get some cable. Get some some corrugated cable wrap and make a board costume. Yeah. Or this another is, kind of like weird cyborg-y so cool. or um, yeah, I should show kind of. And you can run all of your like NeoPixel wires through it. So yeah, that they don't I'll show the end result again too. That's cool. This is a cool kid. Yeah, I you know I would say like I wish that I wish that I had cool costumes like that when I was a kid, but I did. My mom made me some really really rad yeah. Halloween costumes for sure. It's all sewn from scratch, like giant Tweety Bird head. One time oh, I was a cool. Hershey Kiss. Oh, that's cool. With like a silver lamé, and then the hat was the tag. I have plenty of. Oh, cool that's cool. I've never had an electronic Halloween costumes when I was a kid, but very cool ones. All right. So I can identify with this girl. She's gonna grow up to be cool. Yeah. All right. I think that anything is possible because her parents made her red for Halloween costumes. Yeah. No, I mean, and then like the kid knows about Star Trek, and like it's all working out. Good, good parenting there. Yeah, Kay. for sure. Next up. Question and answers, you have questions, Becky has answers. What's the giveaway this week, Becky? It's a Flora. So if you've never played around with wearable electronics before, Flora's a fun way to start. I'll give you one for free just for asking a question. You can leave a question in the comments now or later or like next Tuesday if you want on Google Plus or Twitter or YouTube yeah. are the main places I check, but also the comments on the blog um, and on our like write-in form on the, the contact form on the site or yeah. like any way you want to ask a question that I will see it, I'll grab it and then queue it up, answer your question and make you eligible to win the giveaway. That's how this works. That's right. Okay. First question is, this is from Ahead C. My phone case is solid plastic with an inner rubber layer. Will this still work? Asking in reference to the Qi charging book we project we launched last week, um, it might. It depends on how thick your case is. So there's an optimal distance. 
as close as possible, basically, that you want the two coils to be. So if you don't already have inductive charging built into your phone and you are indeed adding one of the um, receiver modules we have in the store, you can you can put it on the outside of your case if you find that it's not um, it's not charging from through the case and the book cover. So that if you put it on the outside of your, your case that, and you leave the protective sticker on, it should be fine. Um, and then you're just going through the cover of the book. Um, and if you're finding that you want it inside your case, but the cover of the book is too thick, you might have to just um, embed the receiver or the transmitter coil into the cover of the book or um, under something a little bit thinner, like a thin layer of acrylic or something. Okay. It should, it should mine works uh, through the case, like um, the built-in inductive charging on my phone. Mm. That's, so it's through like the phone back panel and my case and the cover of the book, it still works. Okay. That's but some sign. experiment and your mileage may vary. It should, yeah. should be okay. Yeah, this is like bespoke charging, so you're gonna have to like. Yeah, bespoke phone charging. You'll have to exactly. experiment. Um, this is kind of a follow-up on the same thing. Yes. Um, it says, Becky, it's not your fault. Those Q chargers are very sensitive, and some loops have to line up, or you won't get any charge. Which oh, reminds he's referring me. Referring to my live demo. It's not. It's not your fault. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's a live which, demo. Yeah, which reminds. I make oh, no promises. Well, you know, I have the the real one from Samsung. Yeah. And that one, I have to move around constantly too, and it's and yeah, it, and it's made. Yeah. This is, this is, that's just you're charging something through space and time, not with a wire. So it does require moving stuff around. Anyways. Yeah, it's ma um, magic. That's why I like to call it charging through magic. So, so Marcus says, I put one in my in my uh, in a purse for my wife so she can move from purse to purse or backpack and keep her stuff organized um, to do show and tell. Um, want to do the show and tell, but I work during the show and tell. FYI, all chargers are not created equal. I noticed that some of them get really hot. What brings me to my question, have you experienced any excessive heat from your charger? How do we avoid this? Wouldn't want to build one in a project and catch my nephew's backpack on fire. Well, that would probably be that interesting to see. Sad times. Probably bad to do. Yeah, I haven't, the one we carry in the store hasn't gotten hot on me, um, unreasonably hot. It's a little warm. The phone gets a little warm too, because the battery gets warm when it's charging. But, um, it hasn't gotten warm enough for me to uh, worry that this book is going to burn down my house in my sleep, for example. Yeah. Um, I don't know about putting the inductive charger, though, in a bag, like hooked up to a battery pack. It just seems you wanna, like- You want to keep it outside of the bag. Well, it's just like, ex how much stuff do you really want to carry around with you? It's like, yeah. I carry around a backup battery pack in my bag to charge my phone, but I plug it into my phone because wow. like everything shifts around in the bag and I want to keep as few things in the bag as possible because it's heavy. Yeah. So, I mean, and then like if it were in a pocket, you have to get the position just right and then it has to stay. So I don't know that I recommend putting inductive chargers inside bags, but not for the heat problem, just because it's not going to work just well gen and general. an extra thing to carry around. But in a book or uh, like a resin okay. coaster, sure. Next up. Uh, this is from Z Dragon Master Z. Either uh, I did catch the video or it wasn't mentioned, but let's say I want to make various shapes from EL panels. Some might need multiple panels connected together, and I might need one cut into a smaller shape. My question is, what do we do with the exposed cuts? That's the most thing holding me back. What I'm trying to make is a cosplay prop, a sword to be frank. Uh, that'd be cool if it was like, I'm Frank. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, there are a character put, named Frank who yeah, a sword. And put on the EL blade, uh, the EL panel or tape, and that way, when I press the hilt, I will be able to get the sword to glow as a display of a special ah, skill being used. That's cool. That is cool. My blades, yes, there are two swords, are almost 50 centimeters long and 8 centimeters approximately wide, and they have various shapes. Okay, so okay. the big question is, what do you do with those edges? Cut, cut EL panel. So you can butt it up against itself, um, but I don't, if you're looking for a uniform glow over your whole sword, I think you're going to be uh, hard-pressed to get it. I would recommend um, creating a motif that, like, is supposed to have seams in it, or just mm. use one long piece of tape that goes all the way down the sword and doesn't yeah. fill out the whole shape of it. However, you could, say you wanted, I could imagine like a, the sword, it's made out of some kind of blue crystal and it has these like cracks on it. And like, so yeah. that when it lights up, you have it like the seams are there on purpose to make it have this like aged look, yeah. because I don't think you're gonna be able to get a uniform, maybe if you like decoupage paper over top of it or something. But anyway, here you're seeing me cut shapes out of um, EL panel and then, um, how they light up, some of them are turned away from you. But you can you can butt this the butt them right up against each other or overlap. So the cool the cut edges, the light goes all the way to the edge. So if you overlap the two pieces of EL panel, it will. Um, also, most people are going to be five feet away because you get a sword. People are like, oh my god, I got a sword. Yeah, cosplay stuff really needs to look good from ten feet away. But um, yeah. EL panel uses a lot of electricity, and um, so I don't. I don't think it's the amount of inverter you're gonna need for that much coverage of EL panel is really gonna make sense for a portable use. You have to run a wire and then have it go through your sleeve Maybe. and then and and a cargo and, yeah. cargo yeah. pocket yeah, full yeah, you of can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Well that, that you can control more. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That delightful sound. 
I would, if you have two swords, I would make one have a stripe of EL tape, then like see how that went if you've never done this stuff before, and then maybe upgrade. Um, remember, it's if you're a beginner, it's really smart to take on a less ambitious project before yeah. the before the one that will break your heart if it doesn't come out perfect. Okay. Good Next. luck and show us what it Next looks up, like. Next up, this is Alzulas. I got the goggle kit, but I want to recode it for more colors. I can't seem to find a good location on the learning center on how to code code color for on the NeoPixels. Some people do bitwise loops. Some people use tuples of RGB and loops. What's best? Where can I learn more about coding for NeoPixel? Good question. It is a we, good question. We do have resources. Yeah, so if you look at the NeoPixel Uber Guide, it has an intro to the library um, on one of the pages. And um, that's going to help you understand the color system and how to refresh the color on the NeoPixels. Um, but it doesn't really teach you how to like write animations. And a lot of the sample code we have um, for projects is of varying levels of difficulty in terms of the um, coding. This wig, for example, oh, the, the wig is sad with batteries, but it um, <laughs> has some of the most complicated NeoPixel code. Yeah. But, like, I don't understand it. It's using very low level stuff. However, yeah. something like the, uh, if you go to the next slide, something like the um, NeoPixel bangle bracelet is probably a great place to start. And this is where this question is really apt because, like, there's no way to tell when you're looking at projects yeah. on the learning system, like, which ones have complicated code and which ones have simple yeah. code because they all just look kind of like wee animations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one has a really simple um, animation framework where it has an, ar an array that describes the, um, the sequence of the animation and then it plays through the array with different colors. Yeah, the best thing to do is get your code working, the, the sample code working, and then start yeah. messing with all the different things that you can change. And then yeah. you'll start to understand it. And that's one of the things that people really like is when they get Adafruit stuff, they can the, the code that, it, that, that works works. There's no making code from scratch. The demo right. code works fine. And then a lot of people just make changes to that demo code. Sure. So, so I'll, I will um, agree with you that the two animations provided with the NeoPixel tutorial are a little bit complicated if you've never programmed Arduino before. Yeah. So take a look at this project for one that's a yeah. little bit simpler to understand. But really, you can try out any of the NeoPixel code we have on the learning system and um, load it up onto your goggles and see what it looks yeah. like. OK. Next up, this is from Melda. Hi, Becky. Not sure what happens to the live chat after the video, so I'm going to read my, repeat my question here. I'd like, like to. Yeah, nice. it, it, it goes always, away. It goes away. We we capture it, but it looks nicer as a screenshot. This yeah, way, so this is nice. <laughs> I'd like to make a sound reactive headband instead of a hat. This is less real estate, so I was planning on using Gem and Center Floor. Will that work? Since there was another person who modded the Gemmy earrings, which I have made, and they're awesome. Thank you for that tutorial. To be VU meters, I'm guessing it would work, but I thought I would double check. Someone mentioned serial monitors in the chat, but I'm very new to electronics. I haven't clue what that means. Thank you so much for your show and tutorials. I intend to cover everything. I own and controllers and lights and sensors. Great. Yeah, you should be okay. Yeah. This tutorial, um, it's the same code as the Amplitai, the VU meter hat, and um, it runs fine on Gemma. The only problem is that if if you like didn't wire it pro properly and it's like not doing what you want, it's harder to troubleshoot because Gemma doesn't have an onboard serial communication. We do have a tutorial for getting. Um, sensor values off of your Gemma using either a console cable or an Arduino Uno. Yeah. You plug it in and you can use software serial yeah. and use that um, serial throughput to get it onto your computer. But like, really, if you solder the circuit properly, it's just going to work. Yeah. So I mean, you sound like if you've built the Gemma earrings before that you, you're probably going to be fine. OK. Good luck. Show me how it turns out, please. Last question. Oh, yeah, and then this is the same question. And then we, oh. made a video, <laughs> we made a video about when to use Flora and when to use Gemma, and um, it totally calls the tie and the hat a project you could use either yeah. one for. So yeah, check out that video if you haven't already. I had forgot to click that. Oh, it's OK. I forgot it was there. Yeah, me too. Because okay. we were here so much. <laughs> yes, that was planned. OK, well, thank you guys for submitting excellent questions. Um, I need some more excellent questions. So yeah. if you want to get your excellent question answered and win a Flora, uh, you're in luck. Yeah, you can post them in the chat right now. Yeah, and we'll then grab also, them. after this is over, post it in the comments. But let's give away a flora. Okay. Not, not many people know this. Do you know this, the origin of flora? Do you know? It fell from space. And I don't I, wanna, don't and start I, with me. No, and don't I, start with me. And I raised it as my own child, and then eventually it went on to save the world. <laughs> the plot of Morgan and Mindy. No, the <laughs> Superman. Superman. Yeah. Well, whatever they were the saying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Melda. Yay! Melda <laughs> Revaniel, you've won. Congratulations. Um, I know you don't have enough real estate on your headband for a flora, so you're just going to have to build a different project with the flora you just won. Yeah, or you can find a, a friend with a giant head. 
We build a giant headband yeah. with a giant with a yeah. flora on it. Yeah. Flora is not giant, by the way. Look how little it yeah, is. Yeah, it's a little tiny, little tiny thing. Actual size. When it it left a, it left a small crater in Kansas when when it came to Earth, and I found it. Kansas, like what? Smallville. Is yeah. Where. All right. All right. Look, I'm just. Why isn't it green then? I'm just the messenger. It. Yeah, that's a good question. Or blue or red. It's it's the alternative universe one. Oh, speaking of, you know what we're going to do? We're <laughs> going to have a comic book reading list thing uh -huh. at all of Adafruit. Okay. And uh, one of my favorite comics is um, if Superman, instead of him landing in Kansas. See, I'm, I'm bringing this all the okay. way around. Yep. Oh. Uh, it was a long drive. I'm You're like, you. where's Phil going? I'm still with you. Yeah. So, I, need, I need to stop for the bathroom, but yeah, I'm with so, you. So, <laughs> Superman landed in Russia instead of yeah. Kansas. So it's the story of what it would be like if the Superman was... And this is like you know Cold War era style stuff, really cool graphics and everything. So at Adafruit we're gonna oh, have wow. we're gonna have an all company comic reading list because apparently everyone here reads comic books. Oh really? Just like we all go to art art openings, it's <laughs> gonna be kind of like that mailing list. Yeah, no, no, oh. it's not a mailing list. No, oh, no. it's not a mailing no, list. No, it won't be a mailing it's list. A club. It'll be it'll just be if someone's reading a comic book and they think it's really cool, and it has something with like electronics or technology. Um, they'll, they'll send it in, and there'll be probably one person who does 50 of these recommendations. Cool, okay, And that's then, fine. so, you know, Lady Ada reads comic books and yeah. stuff like that. She read a Batman, and they had schematics of a, of a synth on the Batcave, because they just wanted to show, like, Batman, Batman engineering. Yeah. So, I learned that the text, speaking of which, our uh, Adafruit resident rock star James and his band, I, I learned recently that the, there's, like, Japanese text scrolling in their music video, and it's actually just the, their Japanese Wikipedia page. Really? Oh, that's cool. That's a good idea. One time I, um, I tried to translate all the, the words in Blade Runner when I was learning uh, Mandarin. Oh, Mandarin. Mandarin, and then, and then I um, uh, did that with uh, Serenity, because uh -huh. they had a lot of like, kind of fake um, uh, characters, but some of them were Chinese. And some of the things worked out and some of it didn't, but you can search for that on the site. Anyways. Next week on Random Word Association <laughs> with Becky and Phil. Yeah. So that, that's something coming up soon, and we'll have that okay. on, the, on the website. Oh, on the, on the site. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's get back cool. to business. comic books. Glow. If you want wearable electronics this holiday season, today's code is GLOW. You can get 10% off basically your whole order and um, build something cool and share it with us. Yeah. And if you um, want to share a project you've already built with us tonight on the show and tell, it's at 730. So if you just go over to the Google Plus page and you leave a comment that says you want to join, you'll be invited to tonight's and every future show and tell, yeah. Google Plus online, Google Plus Hangout on Air, mm -hmm. um, where you can show your project, hang out with Lady Ada and Phil, and um, and I watch it. It's very fun. Yeah, there's been like video party. 10 people a week to get there early. It's yeah, show up, show up early, limited yeah. space is limited. Um, then after show and tell, you can stay tuned for Ask an Engineer at 8 p.m. with Mr. and Mrs. Lady Ada, yeah. answering your questions, showing you the new products, and telling you all about what's going on. Yeah. In the world so, of non-wearable like So it, I think um, Ask an Engineer and New Year's fall on Wednesdays. Yes. Right? So we're yeah. going to do, we're gonna do uh, Ask an Engineer for sure on New Year's Eve. Uh, do you want to do, are you going to be here for yeah. Christmas Eve? Okay, yeah, yeah, then we're yeah, definitely yeah. going to do that. So just yeah, not mark Christmas your, Eve. I'm not going to be here Christmas Eve. I'm going to no. be here New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Yes. Okay, so we'll do that. Christmas yes. Eve. No No show wearable. Christmas Eve. Okay. You guys might be here Christmas Eve, but yeah, I won't maybe. be here Christmas Eve. And then next up. And then um, every Thursday is our 3D Hangout show with Matt, Noe, and Pedro. Yeah. Thursdays at 3 p.m. You can hang out with them and look at all the cool newest 3D printing fun stuff. Tomorrow yeah. they have a, um, a holiday ornament oh, that's cool. video coming out. That'll be really fun. And it has Brandy singing and it, they change the words to a song and it's really cute. Okay, this is great. All right. <laughs> well, that's everything, Becky. That's yeah, the show. Yeah, oh, okay. Um, we're right on time, too. It's amazing. If you um, that's right. would like... What would you like? If you would like, if you would like to, we'll be here next week with yeah, next more week. wearable electronics. Yeah. If you want to get 10% off your order, you can use today's code GLOW, yeah. or later there will be another code on Ask an Engineer. You can play yeah. favorites with your code. They're both good yeah. all day. Um, and uh, ask me some wearables questions so that yeah. I can keep giving you floors. All right. Floor dispenser. We should make a floor dispenser where you just like, cha -ching, pink, cha -ching. Pink. One of my students is working on a project where when she smiles, a gumball comes out of the gumball yeah. machine. We could make one where it's like a Pez dispenser and the head goes back, like Adabot's head goes back and it dispenses a, a flora. You could do that. At first I thought it was going to be a Pez dispenser of me and I was not going to like that. No, no, but I did see a video this morning where they did a, a, a very accurate scan of Barack Obama, his head. It's like one of the first times that they, a sitting president they have the uh -huh. full 3D scan and uh, that'll be on the blog tomorrow. Really cool. And then it'll be a Pez dispenser it'll, the day after tomorrow. It'll, <laughs> it, yeah, I don't know if they're going to release the file. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I'll, that, that can, it can go a couple different ways. 
but I, I would like a presidential Pez dispenser. Yeah. That, it, it, but I would. He would have to make a proclamation like I declare it Florida Day or something. Okay. My the, meanwhile, the three D model of my head is already available on Thingiverse. If you would like to make a Becky Stern Pez dispenser. But yeah, maybe use Gemma's because it'd be not as it'd, it'd be smaller. Yeah. Okay. Careful what you ask for. They're gonna. They're gonna I know. That's why <laughs> I, I was know. kind of. Sad There's already someone like finally. I know. I know. <laughs> that's what you do when you're Whatever. about to do something. Finally. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we'll see everybody next week. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next week. Okay. Don't forget, cut flow. Bye-bye.